What's up, y'all? What's up, man? What's going on? What y'all doing? Y'all already got them gathered up, didn't you? We're good. Yeah. Yep, we got 11. We had the Trump baby gators for about a year now, and they're big enough now they can fend for themselves. Maybe half of them might make it to three foot. The good thing is the survival rate is about 4% out of each nest. And uh, I think y'all made the odds a whole lot greater than that. So I think the alligators will fare out better the way we did it than Trump out there eating them. Yeah. Well, let's, um, let's give them a new home. Let's okay. do it. Gather them up, y'all, and have fun. All right. In choosing a spot to release the baby gators, one concern tops all others, safety from potential predators. Where do y'all think we should put them? Right over by in the little shallow part of it. All right. Want to be on the lily pads to kind of help give some protection. That looks like a good spot right there. Yeah, that'll work. That'll work. We decided to let these alligators go on the first cypress head on the airboat canal. And the water's pretty shallow in there. Off to the side, there was a big patch of lily pads, plenty of cover. All right, we got the first one going in. Ready? Oh, wait, let me see. Let me say goodbye. Hey, little guy. See you later. He's like, oh my god, is it real? He's like, what is this? He's like, are you serious? I want to hold on to mine as long as possible. Yeah, go ahead. It's definitely a hard thing. No matter how hard you try not to get attached, it's just going to happen. Wait, wait, wait. That's the one up in the house. All right, I get it. You got to go brush your teeth now. At only 14 inches long, the babies are easy prey for other carnivores, including alligators. The minute that these baby gators touch the water, they, they immediately start to chirp and uh, make all kinds of noises. And the uh, juvenile alligators that were in the area all started just coming around. Look, they're all around the boat. All these larger gators are around the boat right now. And I, I'm kind of like, kind of worried, feeling like, OK, well, now there's 11 baby alligators in the water. Uh, it's kind of too late if one of the gators decides to go and grab them. Go, go hide somewhere, gators, and stop making noise. I have a feeling if one of the bigger mama comes over here, it might be bad. Yeah, she's probably going to just take over instincts because it's that time of year. Let that gator Are you mama? Uh oh. Oh, man. Nope, that's it. Holy oh. So, obviously, this was. What, you view a bad zone? Obviously, because look, there's now that one coming, and they're just pretty much going to eat them all. I'm, I, we've had them for a year. I don't want to see them really get eaten like that. You know, when you see it happen in the wild, naturally, you know, it's one thing. But when it happens right in front of you, uh, it definitely feels horrible. It does. It's gonna happen. They're all gonna get eaten. Think 60 eggs. Look, Four percent chance of survival. I mean, look. Today is gonna get eaten. I don't even have to try. Pick them back up, and that's just gonna happen. Every one of them when we leave. It was a disappointment to me when that gator um, ate the baby one. It was a disappointment because I felt as if that was my fault for putting it there. And um, had I picked a better spot, we could have prevented that baby gator from being eaten. <laughs> As more gators arrive in search of food, the guys risk their own safety to rescue the babies. I mean, none of us thought twice to jump in the water, get wet, and start catching them. It might seem like something crazy like your average Joe wouldn't do, but, um, you know, it's part of our job. After rescuing the remaining baby gators, the guys re-release them into a shallower and hopefully safer location. All right, guys, go. I don't make it so easy for me to catch you. Get out of here. Go, go, goodbye, goodbye. See you later. As soon as we set them down, they ran straight for the trees, straight for the vegetation. He's going to live. That's all what happened to my friend. Yeah, I think they might have a better spot down here. Yeah. I don't see today as anything bad, only a learning experience. Next time, I'll know that basically letting them go out here in deeper water is um, just pretty much open bait. To watch another gator come and grab the baby definitely uh, broke my heart. Uh, it really did.